I'm just going to mute everybody for us. There and there. Okay. All right, so you can go ahead now, just start to jog in place, just start to move your arms up and down right here. Good. I'm gonna just get us some better volume here so you can enjoy my awesome music. Okay, need a little more here. Okay, all right, so we're just gonna start to move our arms up and down right here. Okay. Keep going right there. And then we're gonna move into step back, and I want you to reach up. Step back, reach up. Good. Okay. Keep going. Drop 90 degrees right down. So we're opening up the hips and we're stretching out the quads. Okay, good, keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go side step, side to side. And we're just gonna shift back and forth. Just take your arms, push back right here. Good, keep going. Now take your arms and push forward, forward. So now we're opening our hips to the side and we're getting a good back stretch right here. Pushing forward, three, two, one. Now we're gonna stand shoulder width apart. We're gonna put our hands on our knees and we're just gonna reach our shoulder down. Just press down right here gently. Nothing too crazy. Just getting the back of the shoulders stretched out, getting ready. Good. All right, now we're gonna slowly stand up. We're gonna come back to a jog right here. Good, keep going. A few more seconds there. Keep it up. All right. And then we're gonna go into a squat series, a warm up squat series. So you're not gonna go down too low yet. All right. So here we go. Get right. Okay, so now we're gonna go forward. We're gonna go down and then we're gonna step together and then to the side, step back to the center, push back. So we're just gonna do three squats. Squat down, stand up, squat down, stand up, side to side, right here. You'll get your rhythm. Good, good job, Lynn. Good job, Natasha. Good job to the guys. I know, getting down low, down. Warming up the quads. Now remember, these are warm-up squats, okay? We're not gonna go crazy yet. Not too low, not too deep. Just give me a few more. We're gonna switch these to a toe touch. And right here, toe touch right here. Okay, so we're reaching for our toe. Even if you're right here, that's okay. Everybody's flexibility is different. So we're gonna reach for our toe. We're gonna try to get a good twist right here. Breathing. Good. All right, we're just about ready to get going here. We're gonna go back to a jog in place. Two, one, jog in place right here. All right, give me about 10 seconds then we're gonna take this to a jumping jack before we start. Four, three, two, one, jumping jack right here. Moving the arms up and down. If you're modifying the jumping jack, Step and reach here. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now you guys got about 20 seconds right here. All right, so your first move in this circuit, hang on just a second. All right, we're gonna start off with a goblet squat. So you're gonna take one or two weights, okay? You're gonna hold them in front of you. If you have two weights, you're gonna hold them together. You're gonna go down elbow to knees. You're gonna stand up and you're gonna press forward. Down elbow to knees, chest is straight up. Come forward and press up. All right, get the weights ready. And here we go. Okay, so down elbow to knees, up and press. All right, now I'm gonna turn to the side so that you see I'm really pushing out my hips. 
right here. Elbows to knees and then pushing forward. Elbows to knees, chest stays up, back is straight. And we're really trying to get down low. Now, if you can't get down to your knees, just come down halfway, up and press. So you're gonna feel right away, all of this is going straight to your legs. So I want the weight in your heels. Try to wiggle your toes. That's a good way to know if you've got your weight in your heels, not your toes. Good. So if you cannot wiggle your toes, you're gonna roll your weight back to your heels. Good. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Keep going. Woo. They start to burn, lower body. Two, one, and take a break. Okay, now we're gonna switch this in to a kickstand with a foot back. All right, hang on, I'm gonna actually adjust my camera here for just a second. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. You're gonna have one foot back, one foot forward. You're gonna lean forward, slight bend in the knee, flat back, come up and squeeze. Lean forward, slight bend in the knee, stand up and squeeze. All right, pick a leg, any leg, you're gonna stick with one leg. And here we go. I'm gonna start with my right leg. So I've got my right foot forward, left foot back. And I'm gonna go down, stand up and squeeze. Okay, now, for those of you guys in my class who have done this before, and you want to float the left leg, the back leg, go ahead and lift the back leg if you would like. It's gonna really challenge the balance. And for those of you who have never done this or who are not comfortable going up on the one leg, keep that back leg down and just come up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. Okay, now when you come up, I really wanna make sure that you're really squeezing the glute. Up and squeeze, push the hips forward. Good. Lynn, are you floating? You're floating. Good job. Two, one, and take a break. Okay, shake it out. And now we're gonna go to the other side. Good morning, honey. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side. So now the left foot is forward and the right foot is back. So you're gonna come down, up and squeeze. Now, if you wanna try a couple with the back leg, Kick stand down and then try to lift it. Go ahead. If you stay with it the whole time, just make sure that there's a slight bend in the front leg. Down, up and squeeze. Good. Very good. Back is straight. Try not to arch the back at all. Try to keep it nice and straight. Lifting and lowering. If you're lifting and lowering, you don't need to go all the way down. You're finding a spot in front of you. You're coming up, good job, Craig. Nice flat back, I like it. Latasha, great job. Good job, keep going, keep breathing. You got about 10 seconds. Beautiful, you're almost there. I know these are burners. Four, three, two, one. All right, take 10 seconds off right there. Drop the weights carefully. And we're gonna go into a squat touchdown. So we're gonna go reach down, double hop up, reach down, double hop up. Ready, here we go. Down, hop it up. Now, if you don't wanna jump it up, then come up. Come on, Lynn. Let's go, this is the Lynn. We call this the Lynn move right here, but you gotta make it fun if you're gonna do it like her. You bring your arms up, good. Or you're down and your double hop. Good. Up and down, reaching down, chest stays up. Gotta make sure that oxygen is flowing. Great job, Natasha. Woo. All right. Rick, good job. Looks like you're about to hit your ceiling there. <laughs> Two, one, take a break. 20 seconds off. All right. Get some water right here. Then get ready. We're gonna go back into it right up to the top of that circuit. So we're gonna go back to the goblet squats, holding the weight, one weight or two, whatever you are ready for. And as a reminder, here's what you're gonna be doing. 
Toes pointed forward, weight is in the heels. You're gonna come down, elbows to knees, up and squeeze. Elbow and knees, up and squeeze. All right, get ready. And here we go. All right, so here we go. Down, up and squeeze. Now, with goblet squats, this is one of the moves that if you wanna do a little bit heavier weight, you can do that on this one. Just make sure that your weight is in your heel so that it's your lower body that's doing all the work, not your back, not your neck. Good, you're lifting right with your legs. So let's our powerhouse and we're pushing our hips forward and we're squeezing. Woo, all right. Okay, keep going. You got it. This is round three, two through this circuit. Keep going. All right. Less than 10 seconds. We're going to go on a 10 second break. Three, two, one. Only 10 seconds off this time. So get ready for it. Right leg forward, left leg back. We're going to kick stand down. Three, two, one. Kick stand down, up and squeeze. All right. So both of the glutes, especially the back leg, is really gonna burn here when you come back up and squeeze. And when you're ready, go ahead and float the leg. If you're floater, good. Just make sure your back is nice and straight. One tip for floating the leg, find a spot that's not moving in front of you, so not the TV. And you're gonna find a spot and stare at it. Focus right on the one spot. Stare at it and go up and down. Good. Let's see. Oh, good job, Craig. I see it. It's coming. Woo! Beautiful job. Natasha, I can't see your foot, but your back looks perfect. Come on, Smitty. Smitty's is lifting blood. You guys are doing awesome. Two, one. Ten seconds off. We're going to switch to the other side. All right, so left leg forward here, right leg back, two, one, I can see better now. Okay, up and down, right here, good. Up and down, whoops. And if you tip over, don't worry about it. You'll catch yourself and you'll jump right back up. Beautiful job, Latasha. Down and up, beautiful. Okay, down. And up. Now, another thing that you can do to kind of go in the middle if you want to try raising your leg is you can lift the leg, tap it down, and then go right back up. Now, if you're really looking to push yourself this morning and you tried not to touch the, the floating leg when you came back up, it's a challenge, but you can do it. Come on. Keep going, Rick. You got it. Down. You got 10 seconds. Good job. Keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Nice flat back, two, one, and take a break right there. Okay, squat touchdown right here. So we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go down, double hop right here. One, and here we go. Squat down and breathe, double hop up. Up and down, good, beautiful. All right, man. Okay, down and up. We're just looking to keep moving here to keep the heart rate up. Good, up and down. Good job, everyone. All right, you got about 20 seconds right here. Up and down. Make sure you're out of the way of your weight. Good, okay. Woo. We're working toward a break here. Up and down. Two, one, and take a break right there. All right, you got 20 seconds up. Last time through. Get ready for those goblet squats. Your legs are gonna be like jelly. Okay, so we're grabbing back our weights. Third time through, and then we go on to a new circuit. Okay, two, one. Weights in front. You're gonna come down, weight in the heels, up and squeeze. So now you got it. These moves, you know it's coming. 
no surprises here. So if something wasn't hard enough, now's the time to push it. This is the last time through. If something was too much, bring it down a step. Good. Up and down, holding that weight right in front. Beautiful. Trying to stay nice and straight on the chest. Coming down, good. Beautiful. Coming up and squeezing the glutes on top. Beautiful. Keep it up. Good job. All right. Our legs should be starting to feel a little shaky here. Up and down. If not, you can pick up the pace a little here for the last few seconds. One, and take a break right here. All right. You're gonna hold on to the weight. So if they weren't shaky yet, now they're gonna get shaky. Okay, so right foot forward, left foot back. You're gonna come down, flat back, up and squeeze the glutes. Down, flat back, up and squeeze the glutes and lift the leg. When you're ready, you can either float the leg and don't let it land at all, or if you're looking for something in the middle, come up, tap the leg right here, and then come right back down and come back up and tap. Good. Anything you try, any way that you push yourself, good job. That's how we start. We do it once a little bit the first time, a little bit more the second time, and all of a sudden, you're doing things you're like, what the heck am I doing? It's awesome. Keep coming down and up. Leg is burning. The glute is burning. Woo, especially in that supporting leg. Three, two, one. All right, now shake it out and we're gonna go to the other side. All right, so now left leg is forward, right leg is back. Two, one. So you're gonna come over, flat back, up and squeeze. Slight bend in the front knee, try not to make that knee straight. And then if you wanna float that leg, go ahead. Up and down. Everybody has a stronger leg. This is not my stronger leg. So if you notice, I'm gonna be shaking around, losing my balance, and that's okay. So what I would do is find a spot on the floor that's not moving in front of me, at least a couple feet in front of me, and hold it with my eyes, and really squeeze the abs, because there's a lot of core involved here to keep the balance. Keep going. Everybody's looking great. Up and down, nice flat back, good. And if I was really losing my balance, I would keep touching the toe to the back if I was floating my leg, and that's gonna help too. Two, one, and take a break right there. All right, set down the weights carefully, but we're gonna go into double half reach right here. Arms go up, two, one, and here we go. So it's a squat touchdown. I call it double half reach. Now, if you're like a cardio king or queen and you wanna get a little more here, you can go up and down and not do the double half. You can go up and down. That's gonna be heavier on the cardio. But if you're looking to pace it a little more, double half and reach. There's a lot of cardio in this circuit. Good job. Everybody's doing great. Up and down. Woo, chest stays high. When you reach down, don't look down at the floor. Keep those eyes up. Okay, good. Up and down. Three, two, one. And take a break. Woo, all right. Go ahead and get some water right here. Okay, I'm going to demo for you over here. I'm going to give you about 40 seconds off here. We're gonna go into biceps. So, we're gonna start standing, shoulder width apart. You're holding two weights. Elbows are tucked in. You're gonna come up for two, down for two. To the side for two, and down for two. So we've done these, sometimes we do them on our knees, but this morning we're gonna do them standing. All right, get ready, and here we, oh, hang on just a second, guys. I went, I went backwards by accident. Okay, here we go. And here we go. 
All right, front, down, side, down. I'm looking at everybody's elbows. Tuck your elbows. Good, yes, perfect. Ooh, Lynn, you're looking strong. All right, down and side. Make sure you're getting them front and down, and then to the side and down. If this weight doesn't feel challenging, grab a heavier weight. Biceps are strong, and you're gonna make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart, nice and strong here. Trying to keep our core nice and tight, and our elbows pulled in. Come on, you got it. 15 seconds, they do start to burn. You're hitting your biceps in two different ways here. Good. Breathing, don't hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, and take a break right here. Okay, Woo. all right, the next one is gonna be for our triceps. So here's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna turn to the side. You're gonna go bent over row, so you're gonna come down, you're gonna come halfway up, you're gonna pull those weights up, and you're gonna kick back. I'm gonna show you with my lighter weight here, one more time. So you're gonna go bent over row, come up, pull the arms up, and kick back. All right, so you're gonna get glutes and then you're gonna get triceps. Ready? Hold the weight. I'm gonna go light weight. All right, down and up, pull the arms up and kick back and forward. Down, up and pull, kick back and go forward. Okay, down, up, kick back, forward. Good, now I'm watching the screen. Down, up, kick back. Perfect, Latasha, beautiful. Lynn looking perfect. Good job, Brett. Keep those elbows up on those kickbacks. Craig looking perfect. Down, up, kick back, forward. Down, up, kick back, forward. All right, really hold the abs in. Good. All right, now try not to look up at your screen and just listen to me and focus on your movement so that you don't tweak your neck. Two, one, and take a break right there. All right, now you're gonna go back. If you were using light weights, go back to your heavier weights, and we're gonna go back to the squat and press, go into the squat and press, I should say. So it's gonna be squat up to press. Okay, get ready, and I'm gonna step back so you can see my arms. So you're coming down, up and press, right there. Down, up and press. That's my screen, I'm gonna come up just a touch. Okay. All right, good, up and press. Yeah, there you go, up and press. Now every time those weights come up overhead, we're squeezing the glutes, good. Oh, Latasha, I love that modification. That's perfect. Ooh, that's really good for your shoulders. I'm trying it with you here. That's a great shoulder twist, good. I love it, arms up and over. Good, squeeze the glutes, keep going. You got about 10 seconds. If you wanna push it right here, pick up the pace for the next 10 seconds. Good, two, one, and take a break. All right, 10 seconds off. All right, now we're gonna set the weights aside and we're going to imagine that we have something in front of us, whether it's a box or a weight, we're gonna pretend. And we're gonna go up and over that thing, whatever it is. Up and over, we're gonna leap. All right, get ready. And I want you to hold, actually, pick up one weight. One weight right here, okay? Clear the floor of everything else. Get ready, set, and here we go. So we're gonna go up and over. Now, if you wanna step down side to side, start here. And then as you're getting up and over, if you're able to float the foot, go ahead and float the foot. Even if you're stepping and you're not jumping, you can pull the foot up right here, side to side, and really work on the balance because you're holding a weight. So regardless of whether you're jumping or you're stepping, good job. Up and over, good job, Rick. 
Good job, Craig. Bringing up that foot. Really raise that knee up. Two, one, and take a break. Okay, 20 seconds off. We're gonna go back to your bicep. All right, grabbing back our weight, going right back up to the top of the circuit, ready to hit those biceps for round two. All right, four, three, two, one. Okay, front, down, side, down. All right. Now, if at any time during this workout, you feel like you need to stop and grab a sip of water, go ahead. This workout really flows. There's not super long breaks. I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra time in between the next two circuits so that you can get some extra water. Good. Up and down. Really pace yourself here. You can tell that your weights are too light. I'm gonna tell you, mine are probably too light because I'm, I'm trying to make sure I demo right. If you don't slow it down, two counts down, two counts to the side. If you're just flying around on your biceps, that's how you know you're like, ooh, I might be able to do a little more. Good. Ooh, see my runaway puppy. I see her from behind in the camera. Hello. Okay, all right. We're gonna take a break right here. We're gonna switch to our lighter weights. And you're gonna go to that bent over roll to a kickback. Lighter weights, go ahead and grab those. Get ready. And here we go. Okay. So you're going to bend over, slight bend in the knees, pull the arms up, kick them back, forward and down. Up, back, kick them forward. Woo, Lynn, nice, nice kick back right there. Up, back, good. She's got her arms going all the way back and up. Natasha, that's great. Good job, Brett. Kick them back. Good job, Craig. Woo! Craig also, those elbows are right up there. Good job. And back. Now, some people, especially guys, have that tricep strength. So if you feel like this is not challenging enough weight for you on the third set, you can grab something slightly heavier. Good. Down, up, back, and forward. Keep it up. Three. Two, one, and take a break right there. All right, now you're gonna switch back to squat and press. So you're gonna grab those weights. Two, one, you're gonna squat down, up and press. All right, take a look at your feet. Both feet should be pointed forward, both toes, and that's gonna prevent you from putting the wrong kind of pressure on your knee. Good. So those toes should be forward, up and down. And now if you wanna pick up your pace here, if you're feeling okay, pick up your pace, up and press, squeeze the glute. Every time you come up, good. Inhaling and exhaling. Woo, you guys are crushing this workout. Keep going. You're almost ready to go to the next circuit. Keep going. We are at almost 28 minutes already. Keep it up. Down and up. Five, four, three, two. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side. So you're gonna hold on to one weight. I'm gonna give you a little challenge this time. So imagine we're jumping up and over. So we're jumping or stepping side to side right here. Now, if you want to join me for a challenge, push that, woo, see, I'm going to fly over. Push that weight up and down and raise your knee up and over. Even if you're stepping, just step and raise the weight up and down. Latasha, if that bothers your shoulder, push it forward. Good. I love it. Up and over. Now, that's really going to challenge your balance. Good. And if you're not, if you're stepping up and over, Pulling the knee up right here. Okay. You can be holding the weight still. Up and over. Lift the leg. One. And take a break. All right. Grab some water here before your last time through that circuit. We're going to 
we're going to go up to the top of the circuit, but get some water first and come back and grab your weight. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds. Okay. So I'm just going to let you finish that water. Come back to center. Get ready with your bicep weight. Okay. All right. Here we go. So biceps down for two, up for two. Side for two, up for two. Good. Keep it up. You got it. Whew. So hot. You can really feel humidity is kicking, even with the AC on. Whew. Down for two, the side for two, but that's good. It means we're working. All right, and just nice and slow. Control the movement. Good. Breathing. You got about 20 seconds. Really squeeze those weights, okay? Hold those weights really tight. Keep your biceps engaged. Good job. I'm watching the camera. Elbows are staying tucked. Everybody's elbows are in. Good. Front and side. Two. Ooh, really turn them to the side. Good. All right, and take a break right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch over to my lighter ones and you do the weight that works for you and you're gonna go bent over row. You're gonna pull it back, kick back and forward. Down, up, kick, forward. Okay, wrap back here. Up, kick, forward. All right, now I'm just checking in on the camera. Good job, Lynn. Elbows are up. Good, 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 good. Keeping those elbows up. Latasha's elbows are up. Craig's elbows are up. Oh, thunderstorm. That's why you're scared. Okay. Now it makes sense. Back and down. So up, back, forward, and down. Up, back, forward, and down. Triceps are done here. They are like, please give me a break. No. We love you guys for triceps. That's why we do this to you. And take a break right there. All right, we're gonna finish this out with our squat to press right here. Two, one, and here we go. Squat down to pressing up. Squat down, press it up. Okay, weight is in the heel, down and up, down, and up. All right, now, if you're feeling this one comfortably, go ahead and pick up your piece a little here, but just make sure that your chest stays up, you squat down, and you squeeze the glutes nice and strong when you come up, so that you're really protecting the back there. Up and down. All right. Ooh, you got 20 seconds. Hang in there. Up. Shoulders are done here. Latasha, I'm coming back to you here. I'm testing again with you. This is really great. That's great for your shoulders. I love it. Three, two, one, and take a break. Okay. All right. Shake it out there. And we're going to do one more time. Side to side leap. So you're gonna take one weight, and here we go. So up and over. Now, you can stay right here. Really draw that knee up, up and over. And if you're ready to hop it, go ahead. You can shoot the weight up. Now, really make sure you get that leg up. Side to side. Try to get the side leg up. Woo! So we're really hitting the oblique on the side. It's a lot of balance, guys. So be patient with yourself. If you have to catch yourself with the other leg, do it. Good, you'll get it. It's a journey, keep it up. All this stuff, it gets better the more you do it. And take a break right there, all right. Woo, we are ready for core. So you're gonna grab your mat and meet me on the floor. Right now. Okay. I'm gonna just point my camera down here. I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds or so 
to take a water break while I reorganize here down to the floor. All right, there we go. And we're gonna start off with a Russian twist. So we're gonna be coming into a sit position and we're gonna take one weight. If you don't wanna do this with a weight, you don't have to. And we're just going to twist side to side right here. Okay, ready? And here we go. So only 30 seconds on this Russian twist right here, side to side. Now, if you've been doing Russian twists with me for a while and you wanna lift your feet, go ahead. Lift your feet up right here, side to side. Good, if your feet are down, just try to really make sure that weight is going all the way over to the side. Dip it down, come back. Two, one, and then you're gonna take a break right here. All right, now we're gonna go into some reverse crunches. So we're gonna lay down on our back right here, and you're gonna come up, and then you're gonna push out. All right, so get ready. Put your hands next to you for support. I'm gonna rewind the time so I don't take away your time. Okay, there we go. All right, so you're gonna come up, and then you're gonna push out. Up and out. Good. So that's two moves in one. Both of them are for our lower abs. So if it's a lot for you, put your hands under your butt. And that's a little bit of extra support. So the hands would go straight under the butt and you would lift up and then you would push out. Two, one, and take a break right there. All right, now we're gonna go into a plank jack with two taps. So this is for our core. And here we go. So we're gonna go tap, tap, and then we're gonna go jack, jack. Now you don't have to jump your jack. If you're not feeling the jump right there, you can step the feet in and out right there. Jack, jack, right there. So the point is, you're going front to back. So front tap to back jack. Good, two, one, and take a break right there. All right, now we're gonna really work our upper abs. So grab one weight. You're gonna lay back, you're gonna put your feet up, you're gonna hold the weight, and you're just gonna come up and reach. All right, so after you do a couple of these, if you can't continue with the weight reaching up, you're gonna put the weight down, and you're just gonna use your body weight and you're gonna reach up toward your feet. All right? These are all things that we work toward. So, these are goals. Two, one, and you're gonna take a break right there. All right, we're back up to the top of the circuit. This ab series is a circuit. It's built right in as a circuit. It's just called the core circuit. So now here we go, back to a Russian twist right here. It's a little bit different than our usual one where we have something like 12 exercises. Instead of that, we've got just a few exercises and we go through uh, three times. Good. Keep it up. Side to side. Woo. So we start out with obliques right here. One and take a break. And then from obliques, we move into the lower abs. So come up, feet up, put your hands under your butt for support, and you're gonna go up, and then you're gonna push out. Hands are under your butt for support. Good. Woo, all right. So you're hitting those lower abs in two different ways. Really holding them in, pushing them down, 10 seconds. Sometimes I raise my head, neck, and shoulders just to try to brace my abs a little bit. One, and take a break right there. All right, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna go plank tap to two jacks. So come into a plank. One, and here we go. So tap, tap, and then you're either gonna step or you're gonna jump the jack. So tap, tap, jack, jack. All right. These are tough. It almost feels like I could have put this in the circuit 
and it would have been okay, which is true. <laughs> That's why we only do it for 30 seconds. Get ready and stop. Okay, take a break right there. All right, now we're gonna go back to those upper abs now. Ooh, we're working the entire core from top to bottom to side. We're gonna go feet up, grab that weight, and you're just gonna reach up right here. So now we're really working the upper abs. Great job. Okay, now take your feet and flex the feet. So point the toes down toward your head. So the top of the feet are just flat against the ceiling. And your toes are pointed down, so you're really engaging the legs. One, and take a break. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to Russian twist. Woo, we're almost done, guys. We're about five moves away from being done and going into stretch. All right, we can do it. All right, Russian twist right here. Woo, okay, now we're gonna with Russian twist. Your feet can be down. Your feet can be up, and if it's not working, drop the weight and just twist right here. Keep going, twist side to side. Good, keep it up. Two, one, and take a break. All right, now we're gonna go into the reverse crunch. All right, so we're gonna put our feet up and our hands under our back or our butt, and we're gonna go down, and then we're gonna press up. Down and out, up. All right, you're almost done with these. These are hard. Reverse crunches, they kind of look easy when somebody explains them, but it's such a small movement, and we use a piece of our abdominals that we otherwise really don't use. Two, one, and take a break right here. Now we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna go tap, tap, jack, jack. Three, two, one, and here we go. Tap, tap, jack, jack. Tap and tap, jack, jack. Keep it up. I'm doing a time check here. 7.32. All right, we're gonna be going into a cool down here in about two minutes. All right, I should say stretch, not just a cool down. Two, one, and take a break right there. All right, now we're gonna do our last time through. Crunch and reach, grabbing that weight. Three, two, one. We're gonna come up and reach, up and reach. All right, Woo. I'm gonna go ahead and flex my feet. So the bottom of my feet are pointing right up toward the ceiling right here. And we're just gonna come up and reach. Toes are trying to come back toward my head. Good, and that's really helping to keep the abs, or not the abs, the legs engaged. Two, one, and you're now in cool down. So you're gonna drop the weight. We're gonna come up to our back and first, we're just gonna take the knees and we're gonna rock side to side. And I'm gonna turn on my music while you guys rock side to side. Okay, good, all right. So now is the easy part. You've done the work and now we're just going to, to stretch. So you're gonna take your legs up into tabletop and you're just gonna push them over to one side and just relax down. And you're gonna turn your head in the opposite direction. Arms are out to the side. You're gonna get a good back stretch here. And then you're gonna go to the other side, drop the knees to the other side, really stretch out here, turn your head in the opposite direction. Feel your back stretch out, your hips stretch out. Good, all right. Now we're gonna stretch the glutes. So we're gonna put one foot over the leg. You're gonna grab behind the knee and you're just gonna gently pull back. And then take your hand on the knee, on the outside knee and just push out. And that's gonna open up your hip. All right, now switch legs and gently pull back on the other leg. Take your hand on the outside knee and just gently push out. 
Opening up the hip on the other side. All right, then we're gonna come up. So you're gonna take your hands behind the legs and gently come up. Oops, sorry, babe. Up into, onto your knees right here. And we're gonna work on stretching out our hips. So you're gonna put one foot forward right here. And you're gonna put one leg back. And you're just going into this runner's stretch right here, dropping the hips down here. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Hips are really dropping down. Hands are on either side and making sure that the knee is behind the toe. Yep, shift the weight back. Good. All right, now drop down to the back knee and extend the front foot forward and just lean forward as much as you can, just getting a stretch here, but don't force it. You can reach toward the toe and pull back. Good. All right, now switch sides. And you're gonna put your other foot forward, hands on each side of the foot. And you're just gonna come back into that runner stretch on the other side, drop the hips down. Make sure that this front knee is not coming over the toe. Good. All right, now drop the back knee, extend the front foot and lean forward. Feeling the back of the leg stretch out, reaching toward the toe, you can pull back if you can. Keep your hips straight. Go right back with those hips. Shoot the hips straight back. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get your hips one more time, but from the side. So you're gonna take one leg. You're gonna extend this leg out to the side. Put your hand on your, on your thigh, and you're just gonna reach over. Big side reach. You're gonna feel the whole side of your body open up here. And then you're gonna go to the other side, up and over. Good. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna slow roll up, roll up. So you're gonna come up, get your feet down, and you're gonna come up, 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 up until you're fully standing. And I'm gonna straighten out my camera. And then once you're up, you're gonna reach your arms up and over, grab a wrist, come over to the side. And then you're gonna go to the other side, up and over, straightening everything out. Now we're gonna stretch our shoulders here. So we're gonna take our hand right here. We're gonna put it behind our back and we're gonna reach up and grab the elbow and we're just gonna tip over to the side. Really stretch out the shoulder, stretch out the back. That should feel really good. All right, now we're just gonna do a couple shoulder circles. Forward and back. And then I just need two deep breaths. Deep breath in, release, deep breath in, and release. And you guys have all made it. All right, let me pull you off mute here. I'm gonna ask to unmute.